It was a day of green with splashes of orange and white. A day for Irish wolfhounds. A day for Irish faces. And a heartfelt Gaelic greeting. From the east side of Cleveland, happy St. Patrick's Day. Under a sea of stars and stripes, they had come from both sides of town. One even looked like a refugee from Star Trek with pointy ears and pointy shoes. But we found out he was just from St. Louis, hoping his costume would gain Grandpa's approval. Down the parade route came an army of red setters looking like they'd been through a copier machine. And no, our eyes did not deceive us. These were really two of a kind. The crowd seemed to run deeper than in recent years. Maybe it was the decent weather that brought them out. But when a cold wind ribbled through, this spectator just stuffed those arms up her sleeves. It was getting chilly, but not chilly enough to keep away about 75 members of the Campbell and Conway clan. These are all relatives of yours? All relatives. You gonna pick up dinner for these people? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. no. They're on their own when it comes to eating. Like many today, this kid had the hang of it with one hand waving, the other hand on the bottle. Hey, this is work. Time for just a little swig here. It was hard to take your eyes off this group. They had their routine down pat, bringing applause. And the Ratacycle also made an appearance. Its creator, an Irishman for the day. I built this about five years ago to be doing exactly what I'm doing today, downtown Cleveland and elsewhere around the country. Uh, my name is Rademacher, and that means uh, wheelmaker in German. And you're having a hell of a good time. Oh, man, I'll tell you, this is a great time. Then I saw her. My heart stopped. I remembered her from other St. Patrick parades, when, of course, she was much, much younger. Shauna Mackey. Still twirling, still single, still Irish. Now five years old. Ah, what a day for memories. Alan DiPietro, Eyewitness News. Danny Boy on the horn and a beer in the hand. For many people, that sums up St. Patty's Day. Good food and good friends and green beer. Shamrocks painted on their faces or, yes, even on their scalps. What does make people go a little bit nuts on St. Patty's night? Steve Nowert knows. Because everybody wants to be Irish one day out of the year. One group of people that wishes it were St. Patrick's Day every day are the people that own bars and taverns. Look at this place. It's packed. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. And look over here. The cash register just continues to whir away. The bars we've talked to say they more than double a normal Saturday night's business on St. Patrick's night. But of course in Cleveland, St. Patrick's Day doesn't begin at night in a bar, but outdoors during the day with a parade. And what a parade it was. Mostly clear skies, close to 100,000 people. The children's faces staring at the marvelous bands and floats and some rather unusual entries. But the driver of this contraption summed up the parade in the day's best line. Oh man, I'll tell you, this is a great time. Many parents remember being children a generation ago and coming to this same parade. But in Cleveland, no St. Patty's Day gathering has been going on longer than this one. The Ancient Order of Hibernians, an Irish Catholic organization that has celebrated St. Patty's Day for 123 years. They get together to remember. It is what our forefathers went through to help build this country and the traditions they brought with them that make us what we are today. And for this day, the world seems colored Irish green, and all eyes are smiling.